This is a welcomed opportunity to share with you a sub-study presented at TCT Connect related to lesion complexity and outcomes for high bleeding risk patients treated with one month dual antiplatelet therapy. From the pooled Onyx One Clear program representing 1,506 patients deemed as one month clear patients who were adherent to one month of dual antiplatelet therapy and with high bleeding risk characteristics, we evaluated one year outcomes between one and 12 month outcomes among patients characterized as those with complex features versus non-complex co coronary anatomy. Specifically, complex PCI was defined as patients treated with three, for three epicardial vessels, at least three lesions treated, a total stent length of more than 60 millimeters, two stent bifurcations, the use of atherectomy, unprotected main disease, surgical bypass graft disease, or chronic total occlusions. On the following slides, the study population represented a high-risk patient population independent of the high bleeding risk criteria with a high prevalence of diabetes and acute coronary syndromes, and by design, a significantly higher proportion in the complex group of patients treated for multivessel disease, chronic total occlusions, the performance of atherectomy, bypass graft disease, and unprotected left main disease. Procedural complexity was also greater with significantly longer procedural duration, longer stent length, and expectedly a greater number of stents. On the following slide, I represented the characteristics of lesion complexity for the study population. Approximately 30% of the study population had at least two characteristics, and indeed the average of 1.4 characteristics per patient were identified suggesting overlapping high-risk characteristics for lesion complexity. This was driven principally by a longer stent length of more than 60 millimeters, but also patients undergoing treatment for at least three lesions, surgical bypass disease, atherectomy, two stent bifurcations, chronic total occlusions, and even unprotected left main disease. On the following slide are outcomes between one and 12 months represented for both the complex and non-complex subgroups. Specifically, while there were numerical, if not statistical, higher event rates occurring for the complex PCI cohort, despite treatment with one month dual antiplatelet therapy and after propensity score adjustment, there were no statistically significant differences between the complex and non-complex PCI groups relative to the composite of cardiac death or target lesion failure or the individual component endpoints. As an example, between one and 12 months, the occurrence of stent thrombosis was less than 1% for both the non-complex and complex PCI groups. Altogether, these data support the safety and effectiveness of one month dual antiplatelet therapy among high bleeding risk patients treated with the Resolute Onyx drug-eluting stent, irrespective of lesion complexity.